the madman and his friend come upon a blind man at the temple who his friend calls the wisest man in all our land hi this is nidish vasu and i read writings and poetry from the great saints and sages from across time to help us introspect where we are at in our lives at the moment and to help us evolve and become better students better children better parents better friends better lovers and better humans Welcome to a Stereo Tales presentation. You're listening to Sages and the Madman with Nidish Vasu. Thank you for listening into my podcast. This week, we continue reading from Khalil Gibran's work. And in each episode, we'll also try to gather insights into the experiences and struggles of Gibran's life that shaped his personality and inspired his work. This week, we take a look at Gibran's siblings and try to understand their role in shaping the Khalil Gibran we know. Gibran had three siblings, one older half-brother, Boutrous, or Peter, and two younger sisters, Mariana and Sultana. His mother, Camilla, sold lace and linen, saved up, and started a shop with Peter. This helped Gibran get a formal education. His sisters helped at the shop. Later, Uh, while Gibran was in Beirut to continue his education, his sister Sultana died of tuberculosis. Gibran had to return to Boston. Soon after, Boutros also suffered from tuberculosis. Boutros left the shop and moved to Cuba for the climate. It was supposed to help with the tuberculosis. The following year, Boutros succumbed to his illness too. Camilla was diagnosed with cancer and died a few months later. Gibran ran the shop long enough to settle all the debts the shop ran up. After that, for a long time, it was Mariana who supported Gibran and herself working at a dressmaker's shop as he pursued his art and writing. Today, we'll take a look at a fable from Khalil Gibran's The Madman called The Astronomer. In the shadow of the temple, my friend, I saw a blind man sitting alone. And my friend said, Behold the wisest man of our land. Then I left my friend and approached the blind man and greeted him and we conversed. After a while, I said, Forgive my question, but since when hast thou been blind? From my birth, he answered. Said I, And what path of wisdom followest thou? said he i am an astronomer then he placed his hand upon his breast saying i watch all these suns and moons and stars what do you think of this fable the madman and his friend come upon a blind man at the temple who his friend calls the wisest man in all our land the madman gets to know the blind man better and inquires about his path to wisdom and the blind man calls himself an astronomer who watches the suns moons and stars using his heart there are two things to observe here one he enjoys his experience the visions of the suns moons and stars despite his blindness in fact he enjoys this experience because he is not distracted with the sense pleasures of sight and two he has used his heart or let's say cultivated intuition to pursue the divine and has attained that state of self or god realization a great part of achieving the state involved gaining command over his sense organs even if it is over one sense organ it counts instead of looking outwards uh, we need to look inwards and then with effort devotion and grace hopefully we'll be blessed with the wisdom the eternal state of being one with the universe or god or the almighty the blind man has been able to achieve this out of his circumstances by birth or being born blind to pursue the divine instinct many great saints and masters have talked about the experience of nirvana samadhi baka in sufi najat in islam salvation or mukti in hinduism or god realization it's a state of eternal bliss or ecstasy 
a state where the devotee experiences uninterrupted God contact or is one with God. According to many cultures and faiths, the experience of union with God is believed to end the cycle of birth and death and the suffering that one has to endure from having been born human. In this state of nirvana or salvation, one can enjoy many spiritual gifts and powers. They are immersed in the mysteries of the universe and are one with that knowledge and experience. We can also achieve this state, cultivate our intuitive faculties and gain control over our senses and direct our attention within through deep introspection or meditation. All true paths indicate this. We can choose a path according to our own inclination, stick to it and head towards freedom. True freedom. Is this your definition of freedom? Freedom from the cycles of birth and death, suffering and delusion, or is it something else that your heart yearns? I'd love to hear what calls out to you the most about the astronomer your interpretation of his blindness or his heart or about his intimate experience of the universe. Thank you for listening to this week's episode. Please try to take some time out in the quiet just before you go to sleep to introspect, to look within, to be grateful, to make a note of everything you've learned today and send out a quiet prayer of healing for the world. See you next week and be kind to yourself. If you've enjoyed listening to this podcast, please hit subscribe and make sure you share the link with others who'd enjoy the experience. We'd love to hear from you. You can reach us at themadman at stereotales.com with your thoughts, suggestions, questions, ideas, and more. Please also write in if you'd like to partner with us or if you'd like to feature us on your blog or newsletter. Don't forget to rate our podcast. Thank you for listening and for all your support. You've been listening to a Stereo Tales presentation.